is it's partly a chemical reaction, it's partly a physical reaction, it's part, so it's partly the um, the mento hitting the aspartame and the caffeine and the carbon dioxide in the coke, but it's also that mentos are rough, they have a rough surface, and so the um, the carbon dioxide bubbles from the Diet Coke go down and form in the little pits of the Mentos, and that's what gives it its oomph. You'll notice I'm holding this handy plastic pin in while I do this, because the second the Mentos hit the Diet Coke, the, the reaction starts. We've got a lid that has a restricted opening, so that will make it go higher in the air. You just screw that on holding the remote control pin in at all times and then this is normally an outdoor experiment since we're doing it at toy fair we have our geyser chamber so um, then you stand back holding the remote control string and pull the pin have umbrellas all of you um, okay. either way let me just our, our geyser chamber is leaking a tiny bit Okay, one, two, three, go. Yes! <laughs> this is an 18 foot geyser chamber. It will go 25 feet in the air. But we are explaining the science behind the Mentos, the secret of the Mentos geyser too. The key is to get all the Mentos in at once. You can't just drop them in. You've got to get them all in at once.